Hello everybody, my name is Sergeant Channing Gibson, and I'm here to give you a class on practicing noise, light, and litter discipline. We are going to be outside today, so watch out for things like tree limbs and mole hills. There's uneven ground. We have iPro on, so we don't get a stick in the eye and watch your step. Uh, make sure that you are drinking water. The temperature is 89 degrees today, and we don't need you getting dehydrated since we are out here or since we are outside, there is wildlife as long as you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. There's some vegetation out here that some of you may be allergic to, so stay in the clearly maintained regions of this field. We are in the middle of a pandemic right now, so make sure that you follow social distancing guidelines and stay six feet away from each other. If there happens to be any unforeseen weather, we will take shelter inside that house located right there. I'd like to open up the forum that, at this time to address any concerns that you might have. Okay, before we start, are there any injuries or profiles that I need to know about? No? Alright. Overall, the risk assessment for this task is low. We are a green army. We reduce, reuse, recycle. All right, now I'm gonna to need to see your flashlight, cat card, water source, iPro, and your MRE. And here's my training aids. I have two flashlights, a marker, a sling and some tape, a kind of MRE, my water source, my iPro, my litter collection point and my cat card. Alright, now that I see that everyone has everything that they're supposed to have, we're going to be practicing noise, light, and litter discipline. FM 7 8, STP 21 1, SCMT Task 071 COM 0815. Our task is practice noise, light, and litter discipline. Conditions, you are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission and have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements are in your area of operation. Some iterations of this task should be performed in MOP 4. We're not going to do MOP 4. Standards, prevent enemy from locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. Exercise noise discipline. Avoid all unnecessary vehicular and foot movement secure metal parts to prevent them from making noise during movement what you'll secure it with tape or other materials and for example weapon slings canteen cups identification tags note do not obstruct any movable parts or do not obstruct the moving parts of weapons or vehicles. Avoid all unnecessary talk. Use radio only when necessary. Set radio volume low so that only you can hear. Use visual techniques to communicate and some examples of this is using hand and arm signals. You can tape up your canteen. This lunchbox has a handle similar to a canteen so you secure it with tape now it don't make no noise you can tape up your dog tags right you can tape up the metal parts of your sling here's right here's wrong this will bang up against your rifle barrel and make noise this will be dampened Also, I don't need to hear what's going on on the radio. That's your job, not mine. If there's something important, you can let me know. Uh, if I can hear it, other people can hear it, the enemy might hear it. Only talk about mission essential tasks. Now we're going to exercise light discipline. Do not smoke. Note, the smoking of cigarettes, cigars, etc. can be seen and smelled by the enemy. 
Conceal flashlights and other light sources so that the light is filtered, for example, under a poncho. Cover or blacken anything that reflects light, for example, metal surfaces, vehicles, and glass. Conceal vehicles and equipment with available natural camouflage. So, we have plenty of trees around here. You can take some of these branches and throw them over your Humvee, and that'll get rid of some of the reflection off the windshield. You can also cover up your mirrors, and as far as your lights go, you can take your light and you can put it inside of your top, and that's going to dampen the brightness of the light. And if you don't have a red lens, you can grab a marker, a red marker, and you can draw on that lens, color it in. Now you have a red lens. You can also have another flashlight that has a red lens. Now we're going to talk about exercise litter discipline. Establish a litter collection point. Empty food containers, empty ammunition cans or boxes, old camouflage, all, you'll have all these when you're occupying a position. Verify all litter has been collected in preparation to leaving a position. Take all the litter with you when you're leaving. Okay, so here's my litter collection point. I'm going to have it right in the middle of everyone where everyone can access it. And when you eat your MREs, you can throw your trash in there. You don't want to leave it on the ground because if you move to a different location and the enemy comes to where you were and they see all this trash on the ground, they're going to know that you're in the area. All right, so for practice, I want you to tape up your slings, tape up your dog tags, black out anything reflective, keep your light and noise pollution to a minimum, use hand and arm signals to communicate, I'm going to give you five minutes to practice this. All right. Okay, your time is up. Now it's time for your evaluation. If you happen to be a no-go, we will retrain you tomorrow at 1500 at the same location. Task. Practice noise, light, and litter discipline. Conditions. You are a member of a mounted or dismounted element conducting a tactical mission and have been directed to comply with noise, light, and litter discipline. Enemy elements in you are in your area of operation. Some iterations of this task should be performed in MOP4. We're not going to do MOP4. Standards. Prevent enemy from locating your element by exercising noise, light, and litter discipline at all times. Performance measures. Exercise noise discipline, light discipline, and litter discipline. All right, I'm going to give you all five minutes to accomplish these tasks. Your time starts now. All right, your time is up. You all were all goes. Nobody failed. Congratulations. Staffs aren't at this time. I have no failures. These soldiers are all go. They're all trained. The evaluation is now over and I'd like to conduct an AAR. What was supposed to happen? I was supposed to come out here and I was going to give you a class on how to practice noise, light, and litter discipline. What did happen? We came out here and we performed those tasks. What went right? No training aids got lost. None of them broke. Nobody got hurt. What went wrong? Nothing really went wrong. You all passed. How can the task be improved? We could do it at night. We could have better training aids. And in summary, we came out here with a task at hand and we accomplished it. All right, I'm going to need to see your flashlight, your cat cards, water source, MRE, and your iPro, all your sensitive items for this class. And at this time, I'm going to inventory my training aids. I have my, all my stuff.
Okay. While y'all are putting that stuff away, I'm going to be finishing up some paperwork. All right, my paperwork is finished. Now, I'm gonna need you all to do a Hands Across America, do a police call all from here, all the way over to there, and from there, all the way over to here. Cover this whole field right here. Okay, the police call is over. Again, the risk assessment for this task was low due to having trees, uneven terrain, wildlife, vegetation, unforeseen weather, and uh, COVID-19. Were there any injuries during this training session? No? All right. Right now I'm going to introduce the next instructor, so Corporal Sergeant, this class is now yours. Staff Sergeant, training is complete, we have all goes, the troops are trained, and I would like to close out this training site.